two. Terrific. All right, you can start on the floor with your feet in line with your knee. You can have the roller handy. We're gonna use it in just a moment. Inhale, curl up, and just start welcoming your body to movement and lower down. Now we'll start with waking up the back. You can feel one vertebra come off the floor at a time. And with the knees bent, your glutes are more responsible to do the hip extension in the bridge. So you wanna feel the glutes lifting you up. If you're not sure, put your hand on them. They both should be firing, activated. And your hamstrings too, but your glutes are more a driver with the knees bent. So we're gonna go four more, lower back, articulating. Three more, two more, and hold yourself up, go up and just enjoy. If you would like to hold your hands underneath your body with the interlaced position, you can, or you can put them overhead in a field goal pose. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, release your arms, roll your spine down. And then we're doing it again. If you'd like to add your roller this time because the hamstrings are warmed up, place the feet on top. You're gonna curl up and down. And curl up. Now you can feel that even more and down. Curl up and down. And four. And five. and six, seven, eight, nine, and stay up. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, now either stay here or lift up a leg and we'll drop down and up. Just 10 reps. Very good. You can pull those toes back. That's great. Four, five, six. Make sure your booty's working more than your back. Now on the 10th one, your right foot can come down either on the floor or the roller, depending on what you're using. And you're going to push up and down. The toes in the air are pulling back towards your shin so that you can start feeling a bit of a hamstring stretch. Six, Seven, good. Eight, good. Pulling nine, ten. That foot comes down. Inhale. Exhale, curl down, curl down, curl down. Now the hands are going to go to each foot. Happy baby. This is going to feel like your hamstring stretching. Also, your low back might feel a stretch. Your booty. Five, four, three, two. Take your feet together. Press your knees wide. Five, Four, three, two, and one. And then lift up your right leg and take a little hamstring stretch here. So the left leg can pour down, your right leg's up. We're gonna roll the ankle. And then roll the ankle the other way. And we're gonna point and flex. Waking up the body and then pull the toes back and just hold 10 more. And then lower that foot. Let's get the other one up. Now you're going to take the ankle in some rolls. And ankle in some rolls. and point and flex and you're breathing and then pull the toes back and hold looking good inhale now we've got the hamstrings awakened you can curl up with the shoulder blades off the mat. 
and switch the legs while your shoulder blades are in the air. You're gonna take 10, nine, belly is in, eight, seven, six, good, Shereen, five, four, come up a little higher, Polly, and tuck your chin. Yep, there you go, two. Recover for a moment, hands on the knees. We're gonna do another set. You can stir this with the pull, toes pulled back. And if you have any strain in the neck, you can also use a Dynaband to pull up. So lift up your legs, pull your toes back this time. Lift up and we'll do 10, nine, eight, good. Seven, just tuck a little bit more, Polly. There you go, four, three, two, and one. Take the right ankle to the left thigh. We're gonna wake up the hips a little bit. And if you wanna rock a little, you can. You're getting some blood flow in there, starting to wake up the hips, breathe. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, inhale, and exhale. Let's take the other side, ankle to thigh, reach your hands through. And this is a stretch where you might need a pillow. If you feel like your head is coming off the floor, or your neck's in an awkward position. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, inhale, and on the exhale, on the one, left leg down, right leg up. So now the hands are by your side like a frame. You can circle the leg, inhale, and exhale, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10 the other way, circle one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Now we're gonna hug the leg in. Again, you can point and flex. You can roll, spread the toes, get some blood flow in those ankles that get tight and the change of seasons and just over time. We're gonna take the other leg in the air, one leg down, hands frame the face, inhale, or frame the hips. And exhale, one, two. I'm gonna move that roller, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Reverse it, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now that leg's gonna hug in and you can point and flex. You can roll, spread out, hug both legs. And then the legs go up and the hands go down. Take your legs glued and roll one, two, three, 
Good, exhale, your shoulders are down. That's it, they squeeze together, the legs do. Four more, the bigger is harder to keep your ribs down. Three, good, two, and one. Now pull your toes back, and this is where, if you have that band handy I mentioned at the beginning of class, you can put your hands on either side of your band and strap it. It's, it's, sometimes it's nice to double, so you don't even have to worry about the feet sliding back. But this is a double hamstring stretch. Feel your back thigh get longer and feel your shoulders get longer. It's as if you're dropping or sinking into the floor. That's it. 10, I like it, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, inhale, and then exhale. You can release that, we'll get it out. Now the legs are nice and warmed up this way. We're gonna lift up our shoulders and lower your legs, point and flex. Inhale and flex. Inhale and exhale. Now, if you'd like to add on, when your legs are low, you can take two heel beats, one, two, and then bring them up. Lower down, one, two, bring it up. Lower down, one, two, good. And the heel beats cross, so the legs cross each other. Good, and bring it up, heel beat, heel beat, up, three more, heel beat, heel beat, up, two more, heel beat, heel beat, up, one more, heel beat, heel beat, up, and then rest. Your hands can go to the feet, your knees go wide. Five, four, three, two, and one. Perfect job, we're gonna add on a double crunch. With the double crunch, your legs are up, your hands are behind. You can take a little upper body crunch or an upper body crunch. You can take a, a lower body crunch or you can take them together. So you choose of those three options, 10, nine, eight, seven, good gene, six, Five, good, try not to throw, good, I love it. Three, coming down with control, two, and one. Now the feet go wider than your mat. Take your right inner knee down and hold that stretch. If you want more, put your left ankle on top of it, arms overhead. Feel that stretch on the top hip. Good, breathe. Relax, melt, and then switch it up feet wide, let your inner knee down, right foot on that thigh. Breathe really low in the diaphragm. Very good. Five, four, three, two, and bring it back in. All right, this is a yogic bicycle or Pilates crisscross. Your legs are on a table, you rotate. 
Now we're going to take 10 of these, softly point the toes. We're going to pull the toes back and do 10. And then we're going to bicycle up if you want that option. If you don't, take a hamstring stretch, take an inner thigh stretch. Otherwise, take 10. If you want it harder, cross your arms. Eight, seven, six, five. It is harder if you cross your arms. So if you need it easier, arms move with you. Four, good. Three, I like it. Two, one more. One. And then come back down, full body stretch. Let your arms go overhead. Five, four, three, two, and then one. If you need a sip of water or coffee, grab it. I'm gonna turn over, we're gonna turn over on our belly and prepare for some swans. You need to lower your camera. Okay, belly down. Fingertips are gonna be hovering above the floor. Grab a sip or if you need. The hands hover. That way you know they're not doing the work. So at first, just lift up and hover your torso. Your toes can stay down. Your neck is free. 10, nine, eight, seven, two, all right, great. Now the hands are going to be on the floor. You're going to you're going to lift your back just like before, but now we're adding our hands. Hold this just for a moment. Let's just enjoy. Shake out any tension. 10 9 6 5 good care. 4 3 2 Very good. Lower. We're going to do this repeatedly. Get ready, lift up your upper body without your hands, then let your hands help you. Up. Exhale, lower, now lift both thighs. Lift up your torso, press, and lower. Lift up your legs, lift up your torso, and we're just going to do upper body, lower body, continued. And upper. And lower. And upper. And lower. Good. I like it. Hamstrings, glutes. Now the next time your upper body is up, we're going to hold. 10. Very good. While you're here, barely drop your chin. You're going to feel a neck stretch. Lift up again your head and then barely look left. Just go until you feel a stretch. Inhale forward, exhale, look right. Inhale forward, exhale, rest. Now let your hands be a pillow under your head and bend. You can bend your knees and sway them, or you can just leave them flat and rest. That's it, or you can do a child pose. Good, Karen. Five, four, three, two, and then one. Lower back down, and we'll take a rocket ship. Bring your hands beside your hips. Lift up your upper back, lift up your arms, lift up your legs. Now, if the belly down movements don't serve you, you can always do cat-cow. Polly, try flipping your palms and see if that helps your, yeah, flip palms down. Yeah, see if that's good. That's a way to externally rotate the arms. That's the opposite of the way they are during life. So it's a nice little opener. Five, four, three, two. And on the one, we're gonna push back into either a child or a puppy dog pose. Your child pose could be hip towards the heel. Your puppy dog pose would be booty in the air. Choose yours, five, Four, three, that's it, two, and then we'll come back to all fours together. And you can make it 
a cat cow at first, just take a round back extension. Good, and that's a great stretch series. You can stay right here, or you can lift up your knees and do it with the uh, beast. Five, four, three, two, one, lower your knees. Now big circles with your hips. Five. And then go the other way, five. Pause. Now we can add on. The body is flat like a table. Right arm, left leg, elbow to knee. And you're gonna stretch out. Now the right toes can come off the floor to make this harder. Three, the right shin is off the floor as well. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now the hands are down, the, the other hand comes up, the other knee comes up, exhale, you can round, two, your toes are off the floor for harder, three, good, four, that's it, five, round your spine as abdominals, seven, eight, nine, ten, now hands on the floor, knees on the floor, Add on left leg up and pause. That may be all you want to do. If you want to take your right hand to that left foot and push up, you can add on. The right toes are on the floor. Ten. Five. Four. That's it. Three. Lifting, lifting. Two. And that comes down. Let's do the other side. Lift up the right foot. Reach your left hand to it, lift up, press, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, pressing, three, two, and then one. We're going back down to the child pose. This time though, if you wanna pull your toes under, it's gonna add a little extra foot stretch. Let your hands push. Five, four, three, two, inhale, and then exhale. Looks like we're in a good place to take planks, doesn't it? Elbows down, curl your toes back. You can be in your knees or on your um, toes. And just hold for 10. Push strong, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Shoulder blades are flat, four, three, two, and a side plank. Uh, fold up if you'd like that arm um, protected more, 10. Nine, beautiful guys. Eight, gorgeous Cheryl. Seven, six, five, four, three. Hip is lifted. Two, tuck in my shirt. And one, other side. I'm going to turn to see you, but you can just flip if you want to. It's up to you. I want to see your form. Okay, up. Ten, good. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Two, one. Now we're going back down to front plank. We're going to be doing a hip lift, kind of like dolphin to plank, dolphin plank, dolphin plank. So it'll look like this. You're going to go up and down. All right. So when you're ready, let's go up to plank and now lift up your hips. And now you're going to go to plank. Go up. You're going to feel a little calf stretch there. Now, if you have any feet issue going down, you can do this on the roller where your ankles are on the roller. That way it won't hurt your feet. Five, four, 
three, two, one, and go into a plank and hold. Five, four, three, two. Now rest your pelvis, you're in sphinx. You could add on your hands and go cobra. Chin tuck. Look right. Look left. Look ahead. Lower down. Now, if you'd like, bend the knees. Now, you don't have to do both feet. You can do one foot or you can do no feet. So you could do both feet and lift up bow or you can do interlaced hands or one foot, one foot. So hold up, 10, nine, good, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, rest. And then go up again, push. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Now, come back. This is a frog or a bound angle. If you're doing frog, your knees are wide, your big toes are together your arms are down. Now, if you don't want this one, you could do bound angle, which is feet soles together and you're on your booty. So I'm looking around to see what I need to cue. Polly, you can, if you're good, good. But if you want to put your hips further back towards your heels, you can. Yeah, and walk your arms back too. Polly, yeah, there you go. That, that way you feel like you have more support. Betty, you're good. I'm just cueing um, what I see in the different boxes, so. All right, and if you don't know about something, just look up because I can see each of your faces right now. Hi. <laughs> there you go. This is a nice one too, because sometimes you can get uh, more relaxed and you can pull your knees out a little wider. Your belly's down on your, you can even put your hand, uh, your cheek on your hand and get more relaxed. Now you can stay right here, or if you want to try that little internal, that little thigh movement we did the other day, you just move one leg about five times. You don't have to do this, you can just rest. Is it working, Shireen? Yeah. Isn't that interesting? And then you shift and the other way. You don't have to, you can just lie there and do, uh, do the uh, inner thigh. Good. All right, we're gonna come back into some type of semblance of a child pose. Now in this child's pose, walk your fingers far over, pinky far away from the hip. Breathe. Open up. And if we go to the other pinky, mm -hmm. 
No. You're just finding different angles that you might need. You can open up. Closing and then coming back down. If you need a sip, grab one. I'm going to offer a couple more plank series. Elbows are down. And you can be in a plank. Now, please listen to your body, but you can shift left arm up, shift right arm up. If that's too hard, just stay put. We're going to take 10, 9, 8, seven six good five you can also just stay put four or be on your knees three two one now rest your pelvis open up the the muscles we just worked with the swan or a cobra or a sphinx with the elbows five four three two and one come back to the elbows for the plank now um, please know this is a possibility. You can also just stay put. Your left leg can lift. Now your right leg can lift. You're lifting up your toes. Now that's up to you. You can also just do nothing and do plank. We're going to take six more. Six, five, four, three, two, one. The uh, pelvis comes down. You're in Sphinx or Cobra Swan. Good. Nice, Polly. Good puppy dog for those four. And then come back down. This time we're going to shift through our toes, back up through the head like you're going through a two. Lift up into plank. You can stay still or you can push forward and back. Ten, nine, eight. Good. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and rest, hands press. Good. And then lower down. Lying on your side, you can use your arm like a pillow. And we'll take five passes. So you're going to draw a line up and back down and inhale up and back down. Inhale, three, four, five. Let's reverse it, go up and then draw a line. One, two, three, four. Hold on, grab that foot and breathe. 10. Now you can also grab your band, so you can use a band here. Keep going, I'll show you. You can always use a band here. Feel it getting a little bit easier. Four, three, two, great. Bring that out of the way. The bottom leg is gonna point and lift up 10 times and your abs pull in. See how my hands here We're reminding my abs to pull in. Pull your toes back and do 10. Draw circles with the toes. Pull your toes back and do 10 circles the other way. Bottom leg is working. Inhale, and then before we switch to the other side, 
Get your uh, belly down and your hands act like a pillow. Lift up both legs and tap the feet together 20 times. And then let's do the other side. I'm going to turn and face you. You can also grab a sip of something if you need. We're going to be doing passe with our top leg. So if you get there before I do, you can do passe. Go up. Make it stretchy as much as strengthening. And two. Good. And five the other way. Five. Four. Three. Two. Now the one is where you can hold it with your foot or I, I'm showing you a band in case that's the preferred method. Enjoy. I like to also move it a half an inch or so and find different areas. Relax that shoulder that's holding. If you have a band, relax it. Relax your um, muscles, the belly, the knee shouldn't hurt at all. Relax your neck a bit more if you can, jaw. Good, so I'm showing the band, but that's just because I know it's confusing when I was doing it on the other side if you didn't know what I meant. So you can do this with your hand as well. You don't have to use a band. Whatever you can reach and relax. Relax, feel how the muscles relax even more. Good, relaxing your jaw. Feel it coming in closer. Five. There, you feel it's letting go. Two. And then on the one, let that leg come in. Now we're going to take the top leg ahead of. You basically just got a stretch here. The bottom leg is going to point and lift up 10 times. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Pull the toes back. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Pull the waist in. Three, two, point the toes, draw circles. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Pull the toes back. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Perfect job. Now we're going to do a belly down 20 uh, heel presses. You know, when you lift your legs, you're going to lift, lift and tap your heels or toes together. Lift up both legs. Tap them while they're in the air. One, belly in. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Interlace the fingers, lift up, and breathe. Lift up the thighs, lift up the arms, lift up the chest. and rest. Hands underneath your forehead. Lift up the right leg all by itself. Now lift up the left leg all by itself. You can lift higher when you're doing a one-legged extension, one hip extension. You can lift higher than when you're lifting both. So look for that height. Also look for reaching the leg behind you more before you lift it so that you're not jamming your back. We're gonna take 10 and Slow it down so you've got that energy lifting up and you're not just dropping the leg with gravity. You're controlling it on the way down. Five, it's even slower on the way down than it is on the way up. Four, three, two. Now to make it harder, you can add swimming. Swimming is arms and legs. Right arm, left leg and left arm, right leg lift. 
Now you can make all the limbs come off the floor and continue. Inhale, inhale, and this is where we can speed it up if you'd like. Neck is soft. 10, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, good. 2, and 1. Let's take it back. Now you can child pose. Let me show you how you can do your knees wide. Your knees are wide, so your belly goes right down the middle. Stretch and breathe. Five, four, three, two. Inhale and exhale. Come on back to, if you want to sit, we're going to do just a couple side planks here and you'll be on your right arm. Right arm underneath your shoulder, legs out, go up, hold. Now this is a harder one. So I want you to just consider this is your modification. You can also lift up a leg five times, four, toes forward, three as opposed to up two and one hold for five hold five four three two now lower your hip let's go to the other side i'm going to double up this mat so the elbow's real happy make sure you're making your bones happy now the other modification is just be on your hips or your knees right so go up pause set up this is really strong now the top leg's going to go up five toes forward as opposed to towards the sky four Three, good, Jean. Two, one. Now we just hold, energize the hips up. Five, four, three, two, and one. Very good. Other side. Always know you can do a modified plank on the side if you need. You can always do a stretch. This is gonna be a elbow to knee posture. So we're gonna take this a hip up, inhale. I'm bending this elbow, I'm gonna crunch it, one two, three. You could just do the arm as a modification, four, arm to knee is gonna be harder, five, keep going, six, you can just do static if you need to modify, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Okay, we're gonna lower the hip with care, go to the other side, great job. Elbow is underneath you. Leg, legs are long. Inhale, now we're gonna take the elbow and bend it here. So it's 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Very good, hold. Uh, one more, this is a tree pose on the side plank. Elbow down, now tree pose. Before you go up, you can even set up and up. 10, if you need to modify, that foot's on the floor. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Lower with control. You're never just collapsing. Go to the other side. All right, here we go. 10, nine. It's just a tree, Jean, if you want. Yeah. Five, four, three. Good, I like the way you're not letting your head fall. It's not down here. Two, and one. All right, booty down. Now I'm gonna use my roller. If you would like to, you can use yours, you don't have to. This is gonna go underneath our lower cap. Fingertips. Here, now the other way to do this is bent knee. If you don't like these, just take a shoulder stretch or bound angle. Put that, hold, good. I like it. Three, two, and one, rest. Now we're gonna take another set. This is set number two. Yeah, let's do that, Cheryl. So grab your hands like you're holding hands. And it's almost like you're trying to make a circle. Go the other way. I heard it's gonna rain there in Roanoke. So this is, uh, if you're feeling tight in your joints, this is something easy you can do. All right, let's do the other fingertips towards your booty. Lift up 10, 
five. I like it. Three. And one. Now a second one could be thumb to finger. Stretch out your three fingers. Now put those three fingers, all of them, underneath your jawline. The, uh, the thumb and the first finger are around your eyes. So all three fingers are underneath your jawline and the other ones are around your eyes like goggles. Five, four, three, two, good. Now let that go, just kind of shake them out here. Spread out like pieces of strawberry shortcake, which is world famous around here is between your fingers. Now we're gonna take your fingertips around, lift up, hold, 10. Inhale, and exhale, lower that down, good. Take your hand out, like you're, I'm gonna to turn to you, like you're exposing your palm, then pulling back your fingers. Good, I like it. Now try the other one, palm exposed, pull down. I like it. Fingers down. Fingers down. Yeah, I like it. The hands and the thing feet are, are neurologically tied, so they're probably wanting to go along with it. Okay, we're gonna take this to the side. Now, feet are on the floor, but the knees are bent. At 10 abbreviated roll downs, this is up to you because where you go low is based on if your feet come off. So let's say your feet start coming off, that's your low. But if you can go down lower, go for it. Now, another way to make this hard, harder is to frame your face. And to me, it's a stretchy feeling too. Feel like each part of your bones, your spine are stretching and then up. So it's exercise, it's strength, but it's also stretch, stretch. Good, so you make this what you need. I like it. Awesome. With this one comes this nice, I like it, this urge to do a second harder one. If you're having that urge, you're welcome to do it too, which is the hands come by the head. It's called neck pull. You hinge, and then when you can't hinge anymore, you roll, inhale, and you tuck the chin, and you go up. You sequence the spine, you hinge, you tuck the chin, you go down, inhale. Good. So enjoy three more somethings. Exhale. Two more. Like it, like it, like it. Like how you're making it your own. One more. Very good. Terrific. Now, if you have a roller or a yoga block, you can use this. If you don't, don't worry, you're just gonna do bridge. But if you have a roller or a yoga block, come up and put your booty on the fleshy side of your booty. On um, The hips are on. That way your low back doesn't have any more curve than usual. Those of you that wanna make it a little harder can take your legs out. Make sure your low back isn't getting more curved. You want this foam roller more underneath the far end of your booty. And just breathe deeply into the diaphragm. Either this or you're doing a bridge. Good, or you're doing Shavasana, good. Five, four, that's it, three, two, slide your feet back, lift up your booty, roll down a vertebra at a time. And then we're gonna take the 
legs are bent right now, we're going to take an option for the twist. If you cross your right leg, your right toes might hook underneath your calf. They might not. Don't worry if they don't. Take the, the, the locked legs over, right arm out. Stretching. Five, four, three, two, and one. Gently come back. Now we're going to recross those legs. So you're going to take your left thigh over once, or your toes might even hook for the second wrap. Knees over, left arm out. Good, right hand could help your thigh. Five, four, three, two, and one. We're going to take another inhale and then exhale. Gently come back. Pull your legs in one hand on the knees, uh, one hand on each knee, and stir the pot. You can stir it the other way. Keep going, just gonna move in closer. And then that's it. Take a moment after you've done that to do anything else you need. If you feel complete in your practice, you can do a bound angle supine or a shavasana. So just take a moment to eyes close, to soften your eyes or close them, to breathe in through the nose, expand the rib cage, and exhale, let go of any tension. And again, relax the feet, relax the thighs, feel the hips drop, relax your back, relax your ribs. Feel your shoulders drop even more, your arms and your hands, your face. And totally let go. Notice that sense of peace in your body when the muscles have been rel relaxed. Notice that peace in the nervous system and in the mind. And just keep that sense of peace on the next three inhales. That can be your mantra as you inhale. Inhaling peace. 
and exhaling anything else that doesn't serve you. And we'll do that two more times. Inhaling, feeling that sense of peace. Exhaling. Inhaling, a sense of peace. And exhaling. And gently awaken your fingers and your toes and start coming up towards a seated position facing the front of the room. You can leave your eyes soft or closed. And we'll just take a moment to hand to heart and other hand over the heart. And imagine that your breath goes directly to the heart and you're expanding that space around the heart. And you're letting go of anything that doesn't serve you. And you can inhale and imagine the breath going to the heart, expanding that heart center and exhaling everything else that doesn't serve your higher good. We'll do that one more time. You can just notice how it feels that your heart likes that attention. And so when you're feeling disconnected, you can always come back to that heart center to gain some regulation. Notice how that feels to be peaceful in the mind, body, and the spirit. Whenever you're ready, let your eyes open. Honor in your heart the rest of your day the best you can. Thank you so much. Thank you guys so much. I'm so glad you came. It was so fun to see your bodies get more stretchy during the class. That was great. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, guys. Bye.